I'm going to do an exercise for American Mahjong using the National Mahjong League card. This exercise is called Random Pulls. The purpose of the exercise is to practice identifying the strength in a dealt hand. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. We're going to do three random pulls. We're going to alternate between dealer and non-dealer. So we'll do the first random pull with 14 tiles, then we'll have 13 tiles, and then we'll have 14 tiles. We have a flower, a pair of green dragons, north and south. Then we have two, four, six in dots, four, eight, nine in cracks, three, five, eight in bams. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on? And what would be your first pass? If these were my tiles, I would play either Winds and Dragons or 2468. So I would keep the Winds to see what comes in and then hold Evens. There is a 2468 hand with opposite Dragons, second hand from the bottom. We would need Red Dragons but I would keep all the evens just to see what comes in and then see what comes in with winds and dragons and pass those first. So probably two, four, six, eight with a potential for winds and dragons. There's that concealed hand with news and then two pungs of dragons. Joker, pair of flowers, red dragon, one, two, six in cracks with a pair of twos, one, five, seven in bams, and then a three, eight in dots. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first pass? If these were my tiles, because of the pair of flowers, I would focus on either a year hand or consecutive run, so I would keep the three. If we play consecutive run, there are a few hands that, uses, that use flowers, and there are a couple of hands that use flowers with the year category. So for my first pass, I'd probably pass those three. Focus on one, two, three, or a year hand. We have four flowers, west and south, Two seven nine in cracks, one four five in bams, five six in dots. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first pass? If these were my tiles, I would definitely focus on these flowers and place something where we could use all those flowers. Because we have like numbers with fives, I think that's where I would start. Like numbers with fives or maybe something consecutive, four, five, or five, six, as a starting point. 
There's one hand that uses lots of flowers in consecutive run, fourth hand down. If that doesn't work, like if we don't get a three bam or a six bam for those, or a four dot or seven dot for the run, then we could maybe play like numbers with fives. I would see what comes in. The other thing I was thinking is we could play wins. There is a four flower wind hand, third one down. So I think I would keep the wins. And we do have tiles we can pass. Maybe pass those three. Because if we pass one, two together, with the year being 2021, that would be pretty risky. So I think I would probably break those up and pass either 279 or 791. Probably 791. American Mahjong is a game of multiples. Pair, Pung, Kong, and Quint, if you have jokers. When you first get your dealt hand, look for multiples. Sometimes you're not going to have a multiple in your dealt hand. That's when you look for the predominant pattern. Play a category that uses most of your tiles. During the Charleston, if a multiple forms, reassess. Consider categories that will use that multiple with most of your tiles. Gather tiles that support the new strength of the hand to optimize your chances to win. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click that little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, may all your picks be keepers.